In the first part of this demonstration, we looked at the generation of particles from uh, 3ds Max here and Fur using the PRT here object of Cricketer 2 and also the control of the density along the hairs using the Magma Flow True Editor. In the second part, we're going to reuse some of the calculations in this uh, modifier to also control a color gradient a blending of two colors along the uh, hairs. In previous versions of uh, Cricktor, one had to add a new modifier in order to create a new channel, but in Magma 2 we can just press Ctrl O and this will create a new output uh, with a color channel and uh, we'll also need a function blend operator which will be controlled by the gradient from 0 to 1 that we already used for the density. I'll press Ctrl R, which will enable the automatic sorting mode. And you'll notice that pressing Ctrl R repeatedly will swap between the free and the reorder mode. And you can also press Ctrl Shift R to bake the results of the automatic into the free mode. Now I can move my notes around and you'll notice that the blend uh, operator doesn't have uh, default inputs. We are required to provide two vectors and the output of this node is uh, drawn as red which shows that currently um, the color cannot be set and the uh, modifier is not going to work correctly. If we select this node and press Shift 6 to create a yellow and Shift 1 to create a red color since we enabled the auto update, we get the red to yellow, in fact yellow to red gradients in the viewport. There is a new option in the Magma Flow tool uh, to show the color swatches of vector inputs. So if we go into automatic mode, we can switch on and off the display of the colors uh, for all the vector inputs. In this case, we could also introduce a new uh, curve control on the wire that is controlling the blend. So we press function and U for curve. And here we have now the curve control, which has its own floating editor. And you can open any number of those editors for many curve controls from different uh, magma flow editors at the same time, probably on the second monitor, and manipulate them at once. This editor provides a lot more space to tweak the curves, and the command panel only shows the curve as a preview, but doesn't let you modify it. Let's uh, switch the corners to Bezier, and we can... Uh, tweak the curvature in order to produce a completely different rendering effect. Let's hit the render button and take a look at what the shading looks like right now. We're going to get mostly yellow with a little bit of orange at the tips because most of the red information is being lost in the low density. Uh, there is uh, a set of render elements being generated and if you want to do a preview rendering without constantly getting all the render elements, uh, you can either disable them in the uh, render elements tab of the render editor, like uh, here, elements active, or alternatively, if you don't want to go there, you can just uh, enter the iterative mode and this will suppress the generation of rent elements. Uh, let's tweak our curve once again to produce a different look, a more uh, orange and hit the render button. At this point we should get only the beauty pass. Here we go. So at this point, we have a single modifier which controls both the density and the color. If you double click any node in the Magma Flow Editor, just like in the previous version, all the um, children nodes are going to be collapsed. 
but uh, in the case of the outputs this is a really nice way to suppress all the nodes that are controlling a specific output for example right now we're seeing all the nodes that are responsible for the density calculations and if I display the color but hide the density now we can see all the nodes that are responsible for the uh, color output another thing that we can also do which wasn't possible in the previous version is to enable and disable the actual output so unchecking the enable option is going to suppress the complete flow of the color output that means no color will be generated but you don't have to destroy the whole flow you just temporarily enable and, and disable it in the next part of uh, this demonstration we're going to look at ways to randomize the color of whole strands of hair in order to produce more interesting results.